Okay, this is finding objects at daylight. This is my 25 centimeter Dobson telescope. And the telescope here, as you see, it is equipped with, with Celixus circles here. With, with uh, az azimuth Celix circles. And this is, this is uh, the altitude Celix circles on this, on this side. And here, this is for alignment. This is just a smartphone, it's a Samsung Galaxy S2, which displays the according the the equatorial and the, and the, but also the as you know, the coordinate coordinates of the several objects. It's just a simple web browser which you can do on any any computer or a tablet or smart smartphone. And this is the eyepiece. Now I'm going to show you Mars. This is our most beloved neighbor, that's the moon. You see now the moon here? This is a rather large, that's the moon. Just in daylight the same. This is the, the, uh, the edge of the moon. In all, uh, all images, by the way, I use, uh, I use a power of 93 times. That's uh, a an, an, an Nagler 13mm uh, uh, eyepiece I use for it. For both the stars and now for the moon. So it's our first quarter moon. Today. And this is not the moon, but this is our sister planet Venus. You see here Venus, this is uh, Venus and it's uh, just also a crescent because it's, uh, it's only six weeks uh, before inferior, inferior conjunction on June 6. So this is Venus, this is uh, the sister planet of the Earth. And this planet is actually looks like the moon, but it's because it's it's so white because of its cloud cover, and the clouds uh, under the clouds the temperature is over is 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 470 degrees Celsius and 90 bars of uh, the pressure, which is very in uh, in hospital in hospitable atmosphere. Okay, this is Venus. Okay, now you see here in the center of the image you see Mars, this little tiny ball, it's, it's the planet Mars here in the center of the image, just during full daylight, or well, full daylight, it's evening, anyway, so this is Mars. Again you see Castor and Gemini, the twins, probably you might see it as a double star, Castor is, uh, it's actually a six-fold star, but these two stars you can only see even at night when it's dark. So this is Castor in Gemini. Okay, now you see in the center of the image our beloved North Star, the Pole Star in the center of the of the image. It's, a, it's only one degree of the North Pole. And now I can keep track on it because it, it moves very slowly. Because it only is less than a degree of the North, the actual North Pole. This is the pole star, Polaris and Ursa Minor. Okay, there's Capella. That's, uh, that's the brightest star of the uh, Origa, the ch cherry tier. That's one of the brightest stars in the sky. Maybe you, you, it has a yellowish tinge, particularly contrasting to, to the blue, blue sky. So it's just a little above the center of the image. So there's, a, there's a Regulus, there's Alpha Leonis, rather close to Mars. It's plus 1.1, plus 1 .1, not very bright, but this is one of the brightest stars. But it's not as bright as uh, Capella. It's now uh, nearly due south, and it's just a little bit uh, low sun. Sun now, the sun is getting red now. So this is uh, Regulus, the brightest star of Leo the Lion. Here at the end of the se session, it is still daylight, the sun is still in the sky, but it is rather low now. You see now, it is still daylight.